Hi everybody, Scott Kelby here, and I have got a finishing move for you today. Kind of the same kind of thing that I did last week, where I did a tutorial over at LightroomKillerTips.com. So you can go and watch the tutorial over there first. Now that tutorial is how I came up with this final image. I'm going to show you the out of camera image first. Here's the out of camera image, right? Uh, let's see here. Whoa. <laughs> and then I'm going to show you over there step by step. And it's very, very easy. Amazingly easy. No plugins, no presets, no crazy stuff. Just straight, simple Lightroom. How we get to here. Whoops. That's not, that's not exactly it. How we get to. Ah, there. There we go. That's better. Helps if you choose the right menu item. Okay. Today here on my blog, I'm going to show you a finishing move. So this is something that you would do after you got to this step. So I'm going to go ahead and click open image. And we're going to open the image in Photoshop. And what we're going to do is we're going to mimic the look of an, a strong glow that you'd normally get from a plugin. Here's how you do it. Super easy technique. Step one, duplicate the background layer. Step two. Blur the heck out of it. Go into the filter menu. Under blur, we're going to go to Gaussian blur, and I'm going to apply a 25 pixel blur so it looks real blurry. All right, we're just two clicks away from being done with our finishing move. The next move is to go here to the layer panel under the blend modes, and you're going to change the blend mode from normal to soft light. What this is going to do, it's going to basically let the blur blend in with the photo, and it's going to make the photo warmer. So it adds contrast and warmth, and the image blends in but as you can see it's like too much and and even at this the image still looks sharp even though we've applied this glow effect it still looks sharp it's just too much we've lost a lot of detail and stuff so all you do is go to the opacity up here at the top of the layer lower it to 50% and it brings back some of that detail and uh, i would try 50 and see if that's you know enough for you or if that's too blurry or not but take a look though you'll see that when i toggle it on and off right it is a little darker it's a little warmer which i think the warmth looks really nice but it's not blurry it just kind of takes the edge off the image and so i think it makes a really really nice way to finish and a lot of times i'll have people send me an email and say what is it that you're doing at the at the very end it looks like you've kind of made it soft but it's still sharp well this is the exact technique i use right here uh, so again, go over to lightroomkillertips.com and watch the tutorial on how we got to the starting place. And then here's the finishing move to do at the very end. And by the way, this finishing move that I just show you, showed you, excuse me, looks almost exactly like if you went to Nick, uh, the Nick collection to color effects pro chose glamour glow and then chose their stronger preset, which is one they've been using for years. I just figured out a way to, to duplicate it right here in Photoshop without having to use the plugin. Almost an identical look. All right. If you like learning Photoshop stuff like this, and I know you do, go to kelby1.com, take the 10 day free trial, and you can start watching hundreds of classes right now. You can become a Photoshop shark in no time. But if you are super into this and you're really serious about learning Photoshop and Lightroom and lighting and stuff like that, come out to Vegas. Join us in Vegas this summer, July 19th, 20th, and 21st. Uh, at the Mandalay Bay Resort and Casino for Photoshop World 2016. It is three days of learning that you will absolutely love. You'll have a ton of fun. You'll learn a bunch. It's three days, and you'll come out of there with your head hurting. You will know so much. doesn't sound like a good thing, but it's a totally good thing. Go to PhotoshopWorld.com and check it out. Thanks, everybody. We will catch you next week.